Okay, so going inside the front of our Sea-Doo, sneak back in through here. This right here is the top of our fuel pump module. Now, it's kind of difficult to see, kind of difficult to get a camera in there, but there are a whole mess of little eight millimeter nuts that hold the module to the tank, as well as we have the high pressure out, which I can't really point to, but it's right there, and the vent, which is there, and then an electrical connector for the pump power, as well as the sending unit um, for the fuel gauge. So this is a really difficult spot to get to. It's not that it's for lack of space, just there's a lot of stuff in the way. We're gonna have a real difficult time trying to film this. Uh. And there is our fuel tank module. So let's take this in the shop and uh, let this fuel that spilled evaporate. So here's our fuel module out of the hull of the machine. Now we've got wires here for the um, sending unit. We can pop this out and disconnect that. Just so that we don't accidentally rip these little delicate wires off of there. And we're going to pinch each of these three plastic things inward so that we can remove that. We've got a spring there. Dangle that off to the side. Now if we reach down in here. So, this connector here, we can just push that tab in, rock that connector out. To replace our pump, we're going to rock our extension tube thing here off. We're going to take our little plastic spacer off and honestly it doesn't matter if we remove this because that is disgusting this filter has probably been in here for 20 years so and I think the new uh, pump comes with all these rubber things so let's get the new pump out and install that now this came from quantum fuel systems highflowfuel.com I believe yeah highflowfuel.com um, these guys have a lifetime warranty on their fuel pumps which is impressive to me not many places have a legitimate lifetime warranty anymore it's just not something that they do so let's take a look at this pump compare it here now the blue is an extra 10 horsepower, I do believe. Um, so we are going to need to reuse the rubber things here. So now our new pump, we can remove this little rubber cap, install our rubber holdy thingy there, and then get our little metal retainer thing and push that down in there with a screwdriver. So there we have our pump with our new rubber thing. That just clips on. There's a little locating tab here on the back side of that. So that just pops on like that. And then we can put our extension tube down onto there. And we can lower this back in. Oh our little plastic guy. Okay, and there we have it, ready to be installed. Hook up our power line and drop this thing back in, put our spring in and uh, install this all back how it goes. There we go, now we're lined up. 
we've got our tube in the right place there. We can reconnect our sending unit. And we're ready to reinstall this into the machine and get out on the water. Okay, I lied. We're not quite ready. We gotta change this bottom uh, fuel filter first. That just pops off and ugh, look at how gross that thing is. Stay. And this just pops on there like that. There we have it. Now we're ready to reinstall it and get out on the water.